For most of us, getting on a school bus means either going to school or going home. But not for these students. Getting on this bus meant taking a trip back in time. They boarded the bus bright and early, and in no time they were off. These Andrew Jackson students are taking part in the Black Heritage Bus Tour. Their first stop took them to the Edgewood Cemetery. I bet you're wondering, why a cemetery? Football was changed as a result of what he was able to do. They came to visit the gravesite of Robert Hayes, also known as Bullet Bob Hayes. In his lifetime, the Jacksonville native made a name for himself as an Olympic athlete and an NFL player. He was also known as the fastest man alive. Student athlete Donovan Mundy says he looked forward to this part of the tour because he considers Hayes a role model. You was the world's fastest human and I want to break something like that. I want, to, I want a nickname that everybody to call me. As an educator and also as a Jacksonville native, I think it's so important that students know about history and certainly know about the history that's in your own town and in your own backyard. From the Edgewood Cemetery, Students drove by Edward Waters College, the oldest historically black college in the state of Florida. Students also drove around the Old City Cemetery. Many important historical figures have been buried here. This is the Jacksonville Fire Museum. Students eventually ended up at the Jacksonville Fire Museum and got an in-depth lesson about the Great Fire of 1901. That fire is one of the worst disasters in Florida history, and it left 10,000 people without a place to live. We know this had to be an unforgettable history lesson for all of the students and teachers who were there. Teachers say it's the kind of out-of-classroom experience all students need to have in order to really get in touch with their local history. And I hear from the same things that you hear from students that we didn't know this existed, we didn't know it was here. I can remember I did this in high school, I went here and I learned about this and so hopefully we, you know, they're able to pass that information on to their children uh, and that information will go uh, forward. By the way, students visited a lot more local sites, including the La Villa Theater downtown. But let's give you one more piece of trivia, this time about Andrew Jackson. Not only is Andrew Jackson High School named after the former president and army general, the city of Jacksonville also bears his name. In fact, you probably recognize this statue, it's by the landing. And this picture is on our $20 bill, pretty cool, huh?